So let's go ahead and follow Calder, Kretha, and Barnabas as they head towards the front lines. I'm going to jump back to the table really quick. <laughs> uh, who is, like, aside from, like, who is the highest actual real-life armored, armored person? Who is the tankiest thing we have? I that, am. Uh, in um, that group, in, it would be Barnabas. In your group, it would be Barnabas, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The okay, real cool. Barnabas. <laughs> so, uh, I, does, is Barnabas coming with any of his shield guards? Um, that depends on how you're going. Um, are you are you flying? Uh, I'm not flying. Yes. I'll be flying. Okay. The uh, like the, the the broom will turn to look like a Nimbus three thousand. He way. will. <laughs> he will. He will bring. Uh, yeah. He'll he'll bring a few. Uh, he'll bring a detachment along with him as well to sort of reinforce. Oh no! Right. I don't want to reference. Sorry, I don't want to reference that. It will look like a goddamn surfboard. <laughs> I'm 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 glad you made the correction. Um, Thank you. So. Yeah, we, he will bring a small detachment of shield dwarves with him as well because king and all of that. Plus, having some more level heads at the uh, at the, the the top of the the pecking mm. order probably a good idea from here. So uh, I will make I, I will make Boulder Shorter's armor look particularly like complex and rich and and highly detailed and glamorous, and make the one the guy standing next to him also look like Barnabas, but as if he is like a shining beacon. Of I am Barnabas. <laughs> so when you approach the um, the encampment, this is an encampment that's kind of off to the side. It has its own defenses. And again, this militia has mostly been there for counterattacks. Whenever an attack comes in and breaks itself against the walls, the militia's job is to ride slash run in and, and take care of business. Now, the people here are kind of ragged, they're kind of weary. They are in an encampment. They have sentries set up, but they don't seem particularly like at attention as you as you fly over Calder. So let's talk a little bit about how do you all approach this uh, this encampment. It's a fairly large encampment, not as big obviously as the main the main um, war camp. But what's it look like? Like as you're coming in, are you just flying directly into the middle, or or what's going on? Uh, like we will, uh, we will be going in the opposite direction of the ret- of the retreating troops. The goal will be to like rally them and like pl- and like to like ter- reverse their uh, the their call to restore hope to them. Phenomenal, and uh, and I will I will give my best Anton impression, uh, or rather, best bullshit Anton impression as I shout. It's like. Do not fall time man to me and punch as I push forward. That sounds very much like either a persuasion or an intimidation check, depending on your tone of voice. Or performance? Um oh. I'm gonna say they automatically believe you're Anton because I, I'm not gonna require a performance check for you to to imitate Anton. Like you know him so well that I'm not I'm not gonna require that. Uh, I like I, I will twist this to sound like uh, Anton, and I will repeat several of the insults he used on me as I insult these people into turning around. Uh, you get a plus two to this, thanks to you, Gail. Cool. 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 Uh, with plus two, that's a fist. That's a fifteen. A fifteen. Excellent. Um, yep. Yeah. So word will begin to to spread. Like, wait. Anton's here. He's he's back. He, he's right there. He's he's up there in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Wait, those don't exist. It's that guy. It's Anton on a broom. And yeah, as you're flying around, sort of trying Sir, to catch I think, stragglers. I think you'll find that in Magic there are definitely planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kritha got a toy model plane in uh in Waterdeep. There's planes that's, in this world. That's true. That's true. I was in I was in hell. I was definitely on another plane. <laughs> Moving right along. So, um, yeah, Anton will be able to, Anton, quote unquote, will be able to to sort of begin to go around the edges and get anyone who's who's leaving. And yeah, anybody who, who sees you, like, is willing to go back into the fray. They thought they had lost their leader in the very, very first combat. It was very demoralizing, but they see you, they draw heart from your presence. Let's talk a little bit about what Kretha and Barnabas are or doing. Them, or I very at least make them believe that I will be worse than running away. Yes. 
even better. Um, Jen, Kretha yeah. and Barnabas, I imagine, are are like forced marching up into the yeah. encampment. Um, and she's she's walking, and 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 there she's got stinky kind of in the group of 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 shield dwarves it's not super effective at hiding a giant frog but and then the two little ones that are now you i do from. need a performance check from but i will give you a plus two yeah. because you have dergaden in your head yes yes i do need a performance a performance check specifically right yes okay that's i'm not very good at this but uh i will do I click the plus two before or after? I know I ask this every time. Before. I just feel like some some of these things you do before and some of these things you do after, and I'm always confuzzled. All right, all right. I did not do well. Okay. So you are you are walking in a way that is totally natural to you. And you you definitely feel like you are being the best Sven you can be. And I uh hardly thankfully, know him. Thankfully, not a lot of people are paying attention to you because next to you, in his resplendent armor, um, King Barnabas himself approaches the militia. So while, quote-unquote, Anton is picking up the stragglers from the back and trying to herd them back into position, Barnabas walks in the front and immediately all conversation ceases. <sighs> Wow, I mean that's like that's like a really cool Kretha's really gotta learn that fucking skill. She does not have charisma, by the way. <laughs> you don't you say you think you Barnabas that does. <laughs> and also remember my, one of my lowest stats. Any anytime you're dealing with a dwarf, you get a plus two because of that uh because of that blade. I do, but I made a five because I get a minus one on the roll because I have an eight in charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it did. It did say the the, the plus Going two well. was was in on yes. that. So so like you're you're standing and very stiffly like walking along beside Barnabas. Like you're like I know how dwarves walk. They walk like this. Yeah, and it looks he's trying to walk like a dude. Entirely it looks bow legged. Yeah, it yes. looks it looks more like one of the Nutcrackers from like the <laughs> Nutcracker. Um, very stiff, very like marching. Um, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot of people are paying attention to you. And right. so you kind of meet in the middle. Yeah. Is probably and everyone, everyone kind of hushes. And the entire, like once, once word gets out that both Anton, who they thought were dead, and King Barnabas himself are here, they abandon whatever they were doing and they all come and gather. And there's at least a thousand of them. And they want to hear what you have to say. And Barnabas, remembering that he technically gave command of this area to Calder, will look up at Anton, or give it to, all, or to Anton. Uh, he'll look up at Calder and sort of motion towards the troops. Calder will take a moment, like, just reach into himself, bring out his inner sociopath. <laughs> and that hard. And, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's like, Come in, Masai. <laughs> this day is not yet lost. They fear us. They throw everything they have because they know that everything they have is the only prayer they have a victory. Barnabas will hold we his axe fight. up. Keep going. We can fight this. We can win this. Your job now is simply look these monsters dead in their soulless eyes and tell them, get the fuck out of our mountains. And just bellowing at the top of his lungs, Barnabas will say, for Faerun! And just a cheer wells up. Um, give me. Um, I have never wanted thaumaturge more uh, more in my life. <laughs> give me because because for some stupid reason it's not on the sorcerer list. It's because of the divine spell. Give if, if you uh, were a normal tiefling, you'd have it. 
Go ahead Man. and and give me a um, a persuasion check. But since Barnabas is assisting, you take advantage on it. Come on. Very well. Come on. Oh, those are funky looking guys. 24, gorgeous. Um, yeah, they are they are in line. They are ready. They are good to go. They are turning to each other and shaming those uh, that thought they would run. For some run. reason, I uh, I may have to reroll that because for some reason it added Oh, it said together. 2d20. It should be a 19. It should be a 19. <laughs> okay, that's fine. A 19, a 19 is 19. still good. Um, yeah, yeah okay. they they are they are they are ready to go. Um, so we'll say that you you pass that particular uh, skill challenge yeah. and that you are able to rally the troops together and they will they will fight alongside of you. Now, as you are uh, I will, elevated as, as a final line, Calder will get a wicked grin. Uh, was a, I might have a small penis, but for the love of God, you make it feel as if it is 10 feet long. <laughs> And then, being, and then be like, there, ah, yes. Suddenly this was all worth it. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <sighs> I didn't pay attention for two seconds. It's taking pot shots while he's impersonating his asshole brother. It's great. I mean, like, it's for sure, but also like, what the fuck? Let's, let's Below the belt. jump over. <laughs> let's jump over to... Um, Echo and Ghost. 